in this problem we are given an encoded string and we have to decode it so the encoding is like that we have a number in front of a series of strings a series of characters like this so let's say this k is 2 then that means repeat anything within the, these two braces two times so a b a b so this was a simple example let's take a more realistic example let's say we have a 2 b 3 c d then what this means uh, a then we have a number 2 then this opening bracket so number will be followed by this and this means that repeat whatever is in the corresponding closing bracket so this open does not correspond to this one but this one so whatever is within this repeat it twice here then but it itself is encoded it's not completely trivial so b so we have b what, what this decodes to b then 3 then this opening bracket so corresponding closing bracket is this one so repeat it three times c c c then d so this entire thing is this one so repeat it twice so b c c d b c c d so how did we do it so we uh, keep whatever is before the first number as it is in the result then as soon as we encounter a digit we uh, find the actual value so it can be multiple digits like 345 then three is digit the next is again digit so multiplied by 10 and add this so it will become 34 again digit so again multiply by 10 and add 5 so it's 345 then we will have one opening bracket and then some string and so on so you can think of it as recursively so as soon as you hit a number and followed by an open bracket so number will always be followed by open bracket when the number ends so call the same function decode string from here onwards and it will again whatever is number here let's say abc and then some digit let's say 10 and then some pattern so again it will accumulate the result abc and try to decode this repeat it 10 times and then uh, append it to abc 10 times and then this will return further to its calling function and this will repeat it 345 times after the whatever was result before this so you can think of it as recursively so let's take uh, a more uh, bigger example let's say we have a b 3 a 2 b c d so start from here a b as it is then 3 is a number so we place it in a variable k k equal to 3 then this opening bracket and we call this recursively from here onwards it will again have a local result a k equal to 3 k equal to 2 and call it recursively on this one and this one will return bc so it sees that k is 2 so we have to append it two times after a whatever is the local result so this will create a b c b c and return it upward and append d here so this should be appended and return it upward and this will repeat it three times and whatever follows this in the end so let's write a recursive function for this so uh, in order to make it recursive we are having the same string but the initial index changes so initially we start with zero but then we have a different index every time so let's create a recursive version of this and it takes another value int start index or let's call it i and these two are passed by reference so we are updating always the same 
uh, index and s we are not copying it every time that's why we are passing it by reference it's like depth first search dfs so we want it from 0 and as soon as we hit this closing bracket we have to append everything to the result k times so when we uh, encounter this one we have to return the result so until we hit this we will keep on doing so if si is digit So we are uh, finding the number. So whenever we encounter next digit, multiply the previous by 10 and add this one. So this is the sky value minus 0. The sky value of 0 is not 0. So that's why we are subtracting it. And then when this loop ends, we have uh, covered the digits, continuous digits and found the number k. So next character will be this opening bracket. So we have to skip it. So this corresponds to this opening bracket, which is not part of the answer. Neither are the digits nor are those closing brackets. So now we are just after this opening bracket. So in this case, uh, we are at eyes pointing to A. So we have recursively called on this one. And that will return some decoded string. So what we have to do? We have to append it to the result k times. So while k is greater than 0, keep on appending it to the result. So whatever is returned and once we have appended everything this part then we will have i pointing here we have processed everything before this now i is pointing here so we have to skip this closing bracket so we do again i plus plus and this is for closing bracket else if it's not a digit then we append it to the result and finally return the result
and the solution is accepted and it takes 0 milliseconds so that's good so what is the time complexity here we are uh, scanning through this input string and we are decoding within this bracket and so on and we never uh, scan through this uh, array multiple times this is string multiple times so it's o of n uh, and uh, space is due to the recursive stack it can go up to o of n but if you don't count that it's o of 1 so we can do the same thing in java so let's copy it So here we, we can also keep the global i so that we don't need to pass it and here we will use a string builder because uh, we, we want to modify that and the java solution is also accepted 